In Webster's Dictionary, the word legend refers to a story being passed down over time. But in the world of sports, that word becomes the ultimate tribute to our heroes, the warriors who fought the way we'd hoped to fight, who played the way we always wanted to play. Two of those warriors just happened to wear the star of the Dallas Cowboys. Bob Lilly, or Mr. Cowboy as he was later nicknamed, was the first player ever drafted by America's team back in 1961. After his first season in the league, Lilly earned Rookie of the Year honors. He played 14 seasons with the Cowboys, was selected to the Pro Bowl 11 times, including 10 straight selections from 1964 to 1974. Lilly played in two Super Bowls, including Dallas's very first Super Bowl victory. And in 1980, Lilly became the first Cowboy ever inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Lilly was the foundation of the famed Doomsday Defense. The man filled with intensity led the Cowboys in sacks for three straight seasons and is the Cowboys all-time leader in games played with 196. One of the more unforgettable Bob Lilly moments just happened to come after a heartbreaking loss in Super Bowl V. Lilly expressed himself the only way he knew how, tossing his helmet into the air. Over the years, there have been some amazing players don the Cowboys uniform, both on offense and defense. But when you're talking about defensive legends, Randy White's name just naturally comes out of your mouth. Randy White was picked early in the 1975 draft. It turned out to be a pretty smart decision. White played a career that spanned 14 seasons. Now, if you need an idea of how good this guy was defensively, his nickname was the Manster, half man, half defensive monster. They don't make up nicknames for just anyone. The heart and soul of the doomsday defense, White thrived at his natural position, defensive tackle, setting numerous records and earning eight all-pro selections, nine Pro Bowl appearances. In 1978, White racked up 16 sacks, the third best total in franchise history for a single season. He remains third all-time in career tackles with 1,104 and second in career solo tackles with 701. Although these two heroes of the gridiron are no longer put on shoulder pads, they epitomize what a legend is all about. It's not always about the touchdowns, the end zone dances, or lucrative contracts. These men played when the game was reason enough to suit up. They played to be the best and to help their teammates and franchise become the stuff that legends are made of. They just didn't know at the time that they were legends all along.